All right. Hello, I'm Henry John Griffin, and this is a video about both mind viruses and computer viruses. Now today, I'm going to be talking about my mental computer because I have been using these metaphors to tell you that my dad is taking very long. He is taking forever because I asked him for a peanut butter sandwich and if I ask him for other food, see, I don't even like the word, that's it. But even if I don't like it, it doesn't matter. My mental computer still rolls with it. But if I don't like the, if I d don't like the word, that's it, then I don't like it when my dad sits on the porch and he has to smoke his cigarette and doesn't want to make me any food. He's taking forever and he's taking a really long time. That means in the metaphor, in my metaphor, that is going to crash my computer system and cause my computer to get a virus, slow down, crash, get infected with malware and get, get and, 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 and have bugs. So that's what I'm saying in the metaphor. Right now, he's causing so many problems and damages to where he's going to crash my computer system and cause my and cause my computer system to update and freeze and get viruses. Now, um, I can't touch the peanut butter without permission because I will get in trouble. And like I said, trouble is like a computer virus. Because it makes you angry, and anger is like a computer virus, and it will make you have a problem. Because trouble will hurt you. Now, I don't want to touch the peanut butter without permission, because I'll get in trouble. And that will make my brain get a virus. And I will get mad because I process consciousness, and I process emotions. Okay. I process consciousness, but I can get mad and create viruses. Now, yes, I process consciousness, but I will still be downloading viruses, updating, installing new updates, and I will still be freezing people's computers, and I'll still be glitching. I'll still be glitching in my metaphor and the metaphor of putting viruses on people's computers. Now, if I'm having a bad time because my dad punished me, if now if I'm having a bad time because my dad punished me, I will release a computer virus and I'll put viruses on people's computers. This means I'll freeze people's computers, I'll crash people's computers. So that's what happens. So if I got upset, I just made a song a long time ago called Infected with Malware. And I promise to all of you to go and listen to that song. Listen to the song, Infected with Malware. It's going to give you some information about what I think and how I feel. Now, this, this, per, this person on the porch is not even making me any food. I just got mad because the app maker or the Vion Studio, as you, or if you want to say, on my laptop is not working. It keeps glitching, it keeps getting errors, and those viruses are converted into mental computer viruses and all that stuff. Now, I would want to probably make my computer virus more worse than the, than the, than the, the other computer viruses and then today's computer viruses make my computer virus a lot dangerous to cause extreme dangerous attacks now this Emily's mental computer is not powerful worm is released and it is about to go worldwide on the whole entire e on the whole entire ethernet and it is about to start attacking everybody's computers, at the, including the ones at the Kessler. Now, I have, I have got an email of the Emily's Metal Computer is Not Powerful virus. I released it. It's about to go worldwide, and it's about, uh, it's about to start attacking my school computers. It's about to start attacking the computers at the Kessler, meaning this virus or worm 
will attack computers and networks at the at the school it will attack computers and servers at my school and this virus will infect everybody's computer now um if my dad keeps sitting